Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy Petroleum News Update. I'm J.B. Avance with Oil, Gas, and Petrochem Equipment reporting. Oil prices remain high, with West Texas Intermediate reaching above $112 on the NYMEX and Brent crude above $125 in London. Supported by an improving economy, rising demand, and weak dollar, the price of oil has been further pushed by unrest and violence in the Middle East and North Africa. While demand is rising, fears about supply constraints have helped to elevate the price of oil. While many agree crude will likely remain above the $100 mark, some analysts warn that should the price of oil increase too drastically, it could hamper economic recovery. In shale news, Chesapeake Energy experienced a natural gas well blowout in Pennsylvania's Marcellus Shale. The company worked alongside well-controlled specialist Boots and Coots, as well as regulatory agencies, to snuff the blowout and contain any seepage. Nonetheless, as the accident is investigated, and while the cause for the blowout is unknown, Chesapeake has voluntarily stopped all completion processes in the region, including hydraulic fracturing. However, drilling continues. In Algeria, Italian major ENI has joined forces with Sonatrach to jointly drilling and develop shale resources in the North African country. The company's plan to pursue both unconventional oil and shale gas. In oil sands news, Cenovus Energy has received approval from the Alberta Energy Resources Conservation Board for a major expansion at its Christina Lake oil sands project. Split into three phases, the expansion project will add another 120,000 barrels per day to the development. Additionally, the company is moving forward with a two-phase expansion of its Foster Creek operation, which will increase production at that project by 90,000 barrels per day. In downstream news, a power outage in the Texas Gulf Coast town of Texas City caused multiple oil refineries to shut down as a precautionary measure. The third largest refinery in the nation, BP's Texas City Refinery, was shut down for multiple days, as well as nearby Valero and Marathon Oil refineries. The Dow Chemical Plant also lost power and was shut down as a precaution. Authorities are investigating the cause of the power outage. In offshore news, Petrobras has started an extended well test at the Northeast Lula field in the pre-salt Santos Basin offshore Brazil. Adding another 14,000 barrels of oil per day to the reservoir's production, this initial limited production test will offer Petrobras more information to better determine a development plan for the massive oil and natural gas field. Are you headed to the Offshore Technology Conference in Houston this week? Penn Energy will be there. Come by and visit us at booth 2941 along with our numerous petroleum brands. These include Oil & Gas Journal, Offshore Magazine, Oil, Gas & Petrochem Equipment, Oil & Gas Financial Journal, Oil & Gas Journal Research, Penn Energy Jobs, and Penwell Petroleum Books. Next week we'll be broadcasting Penn Energy News from the OTC. Don't miss it. For these and more stories, visit PennEnergy.com often, and thank you for watching.